Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 18 of FTB Revelations with Darwell20, where today I'll be playing with Thalmcraft. That's the plan, at least. <laughs> Let's hope it works out. Uh, did a little bit of mining between episodes. Have a lot of ore that we need to start thinking about processing, but I really want to play with Thalmcraft. I've been kind of like holding out on this for a little bit. So I decided to to grab a few Salus Mundus. I think 12, let's just do an even 16. How's that sound? Really good? I think so. Um, so I went mining actually over my Mesa biome. Does that mean I have more gold now? Yeah, it does. Hooray. Let's go ahead and process that at least. And I'm not even gonna take Accelerate because we're not in a rush. Um, so we got Salus Mundus, remember? So to start off Thalmcraft, you have to find at least one type of crystal underground. And once you take a nap, you'll wake up with that book, right, uh, from Thalmcraft. So if we look in Thalmcraft, the uh, book, 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 book. The Thalmcrafty book. I don't know where it went, but we got it at some point. And basically what it does is tell you, hey, you should probably make Salus Mundus and throw it on a, I believe, bookshelf. I think that's the plan for us, right? Throw Salus Mundus on bookshelf. Um, so we probably could use more of you so we can have more books in the future. And then a fancy little bookshelf ready to roll all our own. And then let's get into Thomcraft. We got the Thomonomicon. Nice, all right, am I still in, oh yeah. Don't leave your drill in five by five mode if you know what's good for you. So I think the only time we played Thalmcraft, as I recall in my recollection, that we've really spent any time on Thalmcraft was in the Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode series. So I'm kind of excited to, like, I don't know how much has changed since we recorded that, because that was, like, when Thalmcraft first came out for 1.12. Um, so I don't know if there's been a lot of changes, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, it's... I'm pretty excited to, to delve into it, right? Um, so a few sprinkles of dust could have created this marvelous book. Uh, so we need a normal crafting table uh, to go ahead and do things. And a little bit of Salus Mundus on that crafting table will get us uh, the first thing that we need to do, right? So let's just do that and this and that and poof. Sweet. Loving it. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now if we look in our Thalmonomicon, now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with being right over here, right? To get the basic foundational things of of what we want to do up and running however um i put out a call to some thom crafty type buildings and i'm hoping by the time i'm ready to move out of a small confined space and need a larger area um maybe i will have gotten some of those but uh and and a reminder i'm recording some of these episodes in advance because the end of november is going to be a little bit shenanigans for me so uh I, the, there's a big backlog that's being created right now, but then when I get back, we'll see what happens, right? So, um, with that said, right, here's where we're at, right? Did, did I get the thing? We did, complete, hooray! And I'm remembering how things work. So there's types of knowledge, right? And this breaks down into the two different types of knowledge that exist in the world. There's observations and theories, okay? Uh, and they can be broken down further, but observations are the things you need to scan. So if you want to observe stuff, you get you get the scanny thing and you scan stuff, right? Theories um, are ways that you can experiment and do at the research table. And you need both in order to get things going. Um, so we want a research table and scribing tools, right? So to get that going, right, we're going to want a research table, which I thought you crafted those, but maybe not. Um, comfortable workspace, duh, 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 duh. Research table? Yeah, no, that's totally a craftable recipe. That's interesting. Okay. So let's see what's up. Wood. Wood, wood, wood. Didn't I have a bunch of wood like a minute ago? I don't know what happened to it all, but well, we got some now. And I think I want two of these, don't I? Wood table. Okay, because I think we want to do that. Or is it just one? I always forget. I mean, I think it used to be two and now it's one, right? And then the scribing tools shouldn't be too bad. It's a glass bottle and a feather. A feather, you say? Well, it's nighttime, so that's a bad time to go looking for a feather, but hopefully... And I still have yet to get dark armor, which is kind of foolish of me. I really should have done that. Oh, I just I, I just ran by my greenhouse. I just want to remind you guys how amazing the greenhouse glass is. Look at this canola. 2048. 
Like, I set up that greenhouse glass and almost instantly had, like, a pretty 2048-ish amount of canola. Like, it's it's ridiculous, right? Okay, cool. We only needed one. Nice. That wood table, come in handy later. Sweet. So that's the theories thing, right? So that's making you happy, complete. Hooray! And this is how you do research. And we're not going to do a lot of this on camera, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, we can start researching things. So we're going to need our... Uh, thing in the top left there we're gonna need some paper in the top right which hopefully we have some of yup rooney sweet and sweet so to do this it's really simple right create theory um experimentation you perform some random experiments to see if something can be discovered gain 15 to 30 progress cool that works for me so we got uh arcane infusion and fundamentals research right and now here we get a couple things we can do right a moment of revelation shows the common links between all that you've been studying cool your total progress is split evenly amongst all currently real and valid theories or rethink you take a step back and reassess your findings you get rid of invalid conclusions and proceed with a fresh understanding lose 10 progress divided evenly among all current categories so like these two but we're grain one inspiration so inspirations are up here this is what you'll get um if you do that rethink thing so i think i'm just gonna do that and you use one of these every time you you know choose something here right so I'll just keep kind of following along here. And there'll be more and more different types of things that you can unlock as, as time goes on, right? So we just got a little bit of research done. Uh, and if we look in our book here and go to the... Uh, may not show us just yet, but maybe at some point we'll see. Oh, and then there's also celestial observations, which if you carry paper around and stuff, eh, you know, something, something, it's all good. Um, observation fundamentals. Okay. Uh, I now have an arcane workbench, and I need to make a thermometer, right? So that's four gold and a glass pane. So let's do that. Four gold and a glass pane. Four gold and a glass pane. That should be cool. And then here's where we also need to do uh, the crystals, right, from Thalmcraft. So when I went mining, I finally found some Ignis crystals, which about time. This stuff was rarer than I thought it would be. Uh, we're going to need to find more of them. But you can grow them too, so that's helpful. Um, but we're just going to put them all in here. And ta-da! Now remember, there is V in the environment. That's that's the stuff that's in the uh, environment here. We'll, we'll see that in a minute when we get our thermometer. right? Uh, currently 288 available. This costs 20 to craft, but we're going to do that. And it's going to use, as the recipe shows, one of each crystal. Some recipes in the Arcane Workbench don't use, you know, one of each crystal. Um, shouldn't that be just showing me all? Uh, that's right. That's all the work. Okay, yeah. That's all we know right now. Hooray. Sweet. And we've got the thing. And we can see in the top left how much V is in the environment. And look, there's already flux. How did that happen? I don't even know. But basically, anything that glows and sparkles, you can scan to research. Aha, we've learned something new. Nice. So that's cool. Um, so we did the thing that you wanted me to do, right? Sail us in that. So are you happy? We need, we need observation fundamentals. And if it's something that would normally open a UI, you can just right click it with uh, shift. Hey, look, we got some things. Hooray, we got research, right? So we are learning, learning, learning. Learn all the things. Learn from doors, learn from pressure plates. Learn from furnace, right? But you can only click once on things. Learn from meta receivers. Learn from elevators. It's the Scan All the Things game, one of our favorite games to play in Bombcraft. Sweet. So with that done, we that's all the... Which one is it? Observational stuff. Look, so here's all the observational research we already accomplished, right? Uh, that's pretty cool. So these are observational fundamentals, and these are theory fundamentals, right? So you can click on here to see where you're at with stuff. I thought you used to be able to see it over on the left, but maybe that'll open up later. Complete! First steps! Hooray! Nice. Well, that is cool. Such strange wonders are being revealed to me. I like it. Um, so there's also Arcane Stone that we'll get to at some point. Right? But let's um, break into discovering alchemy. That sounds cool. So observation alchemy and observation fundamentals. So remember, to unlock certain aspects of the, the, the book, right? There's a couple ways to go about this. First off, you either need to, to spend the points that you get. There's observation points, and then there's theory points. So this one needs observation alchemy and observation fundamentals, one of each. So when I unlock alchemy chapter one out of three, it'll use one of these and one of these. So we'll be at four and two when we're done. Let's test that. Boom. 
Hooray! And if we go look over here, we'll see we're at four and, uh, oh, three. No, that's Oromancy. Sorry. It was this one it used up, Alchemy, right? So it's four and four. Perfect. So that's cool. Right. So we just unlocked Alchemy, and we can learn some alchemical coolness. Um, and an alchemical cauldron is pretty straightforward to make. We just need a cauldron and some more of that Salus Mundus, right? So if we just get a vanilla cauldron here... And we were to toss some Salus on it. Loving it. Loving it. Uh, that's pretty cool. And then what we're going to probably want is some Netherrack. And a Flint and Steel. Do I have one of these? I do. I thought I, I should. I mean, I've been to the Nether, so how could I not? Okay. Um, and then I think I have a reservoir full of water, right? So can I do that? Nice. Thank you. That's cool. Okay, and that's complete, right? Beautiful. Now you'd like me to make some Night Tour, which is Glowstone Dust plus 10 Ignis, 10 Lux, and 10 Potentia. So what's that all about? I will show you. Let's get some Glowstone Dust. Let's get some Redstone. Let's get some Levers, maybe? I don't know. I forget. We'll figure it out. Uh, I think coal is going to have some of this stuff on it as well. Uh, let's get some torches. I have some torches. Cool. So here's the deal. If you scan things... Now, is there is there a thing in here that lets me... Oh, yeah, look at that. Scanning. Nice. So you can hold the uh, thing in your inventory here, and it'll scan stuff from your inventory. How cool is that? I think that's a mod add-on that does that. Cool. And what you'll discover by doing this is basically everything, most things in the game uh, that Thomcraft can detect, but most things in the world, can are, are made up of component parts. Okay? And I'll show you what that's all about in a minute. Wow, that was a lot of things. Sweet. Scan all the things. Ah, <laughs> cool. Right? So if you're looking at for example, your coal, and you hold shift, you'll see coal uh, is made up of that little blue symbol and the red one, and that's Ignis and Potentia, right? Those are aspects of Thalmcraft. So basically, most things in the world are made up of this, you know, magical essence that you can see by holding shift on the thing, right? Um, now, when you're crafting with the Crucible, what you do is you combine the numbers of essences shown in the recipe. JEI also has a plugin for the Crucible. So we need 10 Potentia, 10 Ignis, and 10 Lux. We can get that from any item in the game, provided that it has those things on them, right? So for example, coal is a really good use for this because it has 10 Potentia and 10 Ignis on it already. So by using coal, we get to say like, all right, we knocked out the Potentia, we knocked out the Ignis. Now torches, I remember, have five Lux on them. Okay, so we need to put two torches in there to get a total of 10 lux. Now, we're going to have a little bit of leftover, and that's going to be that wolf's head thing. Um, but that's okay. There's nothing we can do about that right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop our coal in there, and then our two torches. And if we look at it with a thermometer, we might see... No, we don't. Okay, so let's just drop our glowstone in there. Poof. Hey, we got the thing. Nice. Yellow night tour. Cool. So that, that did it, right? Now, there's a little bit... Um, I thought you'd be able to see it with this. By the way, I can scan that, by the way. That was a good idea. But, uh, you, I thought you could see it, but maybe not till you get the goggles going on. Now, the good news about Nitor is it acts as a light source for this whole thing. So, like, how cool is that, right? So now, instead of fire, we can use the Nitor down there. And the cauldron keeps bubbling, which is cool. It used a little bit of water out of the, out of the cauldron, out of the crucible, to do that, right? Like, you know... 1 20th of a bucket, right? So 50 millibuckets. So just keep in mind you're going to have to fill that thing up with water every now and then to keep it going. But that's how you craft with a cauldron. It's pretty straightforward. Pretty cool, too. Um, so now that we've made that, I think you're happy with our current status, right? Um, and then also in here we can see the uh, different aspects that we've discovered. Uh, there's some that we might not have seen yet, and there's there's others out there. So that's that's pretty cool. You can learn all the different aspects, and you can read more about that if you want the lore behind things in there. And by doing the Discovering Alchemy quest, we just unlocked a whole alchemy chapter. So there's a whole chapter around alchemy in Thorncraft, which is awesome. Uh, there's also Oromancy that I think I'd love to get into. Um, and that's pretty neat, because that gives me access to some really cool tools, right? Um, 
So, yeah. We need to visit the lowest depths of the world. And we need to visit the highest peaks we can find. I think I can uh, do that, right? I think we can pull that off. So let's scan some things here. While we're going along. Obsidian, for example, and the portal. Some torches, maybe. Scan all the things. Scan stairs. Scan iron or something. Scan granite. Sure, nothing new can be learned from that. Diorite. Good times, right? Uh, let's scan an iron door. I won't see that too often. And the button. Now, I know bedrock. Redstone ore. Hey, sweet. We got some cool stuff there. Research completed. Ores. Well, that's neat. What research is that? Oh, hello. There are many unique ores and mineable blocks that are useful to be thermoturged. That's cool. We found cinnabar. That's useful for things, right? Now, did we visit the lowest depths of the world? We did. Check. So now we have to go to the highest peaks. Let's do the thing. I don't know what Y level we need to go up to, but basically we need to go up really high. And validate that. Oh, not quite. I need to go higher than that. The world is spread out before you. Your perspective has been broadened. Oh, I think that was it. Hooray! Complete. Check. Nice. Slowly but surely, I am beginning to understand the nature of V. That's the magic aura in the environment around us, right? So there's a couple things we want to make. Uh, we need an iron plate, and we need some nether quartz. Uh, iron plates... Uh, there's this iron plate, right? So this guy. Immersive engineering plate, railcraft plate, thalmcrafty plate. Thalmcrafty plate doesn't have a recipe, it looks like. That's okay. I mean, it makes sense that it shouldn't, right? But we can totally get the Thermal Foundation Iron Plate, which is pretty easy peasy, right? There's a lot of recipes for it, but I think it compactors in our in our future, right? So let's get one of those so we can start making some of those things that we need. So compactor is on my to-do list. Wow, I have none of that. Okay, cool. Well, let's do the things, shall we? Uh, we're going to need one of you, please. Oh, you're short on glass, because of course you are. Get some sand, cooking up. I mean, I used a lot of glass lately, to be very fair, to, to my poor AE system that's just doing its best and failing. It's all right, buddy. I won't hold it against you. All right, so in addition to that, we need bronze, two copper gears, some bronze, and a piston. So right, I should be able to just make one, right? Yeah. Cool. And then you, compactor, should be good to go. Nice. Beautiful. And that is going to replace our chiseled stone that we said we will eventually find a machine to stick in there. Nice. All right, so let's get some iron plates. Now, I know we have a decent amount of iron, but not a ton. But, you know, we'll do our best. Compactor. And while we're at it, let's get a couple kits. So a hardened kit would be nice. And then in a minute, we can request a reinforced kit. Just to make sure things go nice and smoothly. Not too shabby. And then we can get a couple augments. And that should be quick because it's just, you know, crafting. It's not waiting for any machines or nothing. Now we're really cooking. Nice. Okay, so now if we want to make the resonator, right, um, that was in the Thaumonomicon, we will probably also need quartz. Um, and as a reminder, in addition to this, uh, it's using a blue and a yellow crystal. So don't forget that. That's important to know. Okay, now we can also get a caster's gauntlet, which looks really cool. It just needs a thermometer and four leather and all the things. So let's get that going so we can unlock that whole chapter. That means making another thermometer, but, eh, you know, I can live. Oh, iron. 
It's like, I know I had iron. I just forgot that this isn't an AE table. Did they ever port that whole, like, applied energistics to Thomcrafty mod? Does that mod exist anymore? Uh, Thomic energistics or something like that? I doubt it's in the pack. If it, I mean, it might be. I don't know. There's Buildcraft Energy, Applied Energistics. Yeah, I don't think anything Thaumic... I don't think Thaumic Energistics ever made its way to 112. I might be wrong. Maybe it did. I just... I have no idea. Right? But that's cool. So now you, sir, means complete. Hooray! We discovered Oromancy. Nice. Basic spellcasting gauntlet. And I'm quite pleased with the result. It is a bit rough, and that is to be expected from a prototype. Okay. Gotta say... Eh, I get the whole gauntlet thing. But wands were cool. Wands were cool. But hey, we have Oromancy now. And that unlocks uh, a bunch of magic spellcasting type things. And Thongrass has a pretty cool spellcasting system that I'd like to play with more. Because I've never really got too much into it. Right? Um, I would like I would like to know more about it, if I'm being honest. That would be that would be neat to do. But we'll get into that more in a bit. Um, I'd like artifice, but that requires alchemical metallurgy. So, because Artifice unlocks some cool stuff. Alchemical Metallurgy? I forget where that is. That might be here. So let's do that. Um, oh, hello. Basic research completed. Nice. So you just learned a whole bunch of things about crucibles and how they work. And you'll learn some of them just by watching me. But if you want to read the, the book, go for it, right? Um, essentially, crystals are actually nice to have, by the way. Um, if we had some quartz, for example, and we did this, we would get quartz slivers. What's cool about this is, for example, if I threw a coal in there, there's 10 Ignis and 10 Potentia, right? For every two of, a, of an aspect, you will get a V crystal. Cool? So two Ignis equals two V equals a V crystal with a quartz sliver. So that's a nice way to clean out the cauldron when you're done doing stuff. Because if you leave, remember when we left those two uh, wolf head things in there? Eventually that boils away and turns into some pollutant stuff for the environment. Also, uh, I need I need another one of you do's. Uh, so you don't want to do that. You want to do your best to not leave junk in the cauldron. I mean, you're welcome to. You're just going to regret it, right? So highly recommend not doing that, right? Trust me on this. You don't want to do that. It's a bad time for everyone involved. So you know, don't don't leave junk behind in the cauldron. When you craft with it, throw some quartz slivers in there. It'll get you some potentia stuff. And there's a more efficient way to craft in the future with Thomcraft. And we'll have some fun playing with that. But for now, just note that when you craft things, if you leave a bunch of junk behind in the cauldron, it'll be bad. It'll fill up this dark purple bar in the top left, and you're going to regret it if you let that happen too long. So now for alchemical metallurgy, you want alchemical brass. So that's five instrumentum with an iron. Now, if I remember correctly, there's instrumentum on flint, isn't there? Um, there might be. Yes, there is. Did I scan flint already? I guess I did. Huh? Nope. I did now, though. But yeah, five instrumentum and five earth, right? So if I do that and an iron, right, keeping in mind that we're going to leave some earth in there, right? So it needs five instrumentum and an iron to do the craft, but we're going to have five earth left over. So let's do that and that. Poof, right? But now if we throw our cord slivers in there, we should get two terra crystals back, which is cool. Also, that's a nice way to get ignis crystals, just saying. That is super cool, good way to get things going forward. So there you go. So we got our chemical brass. Nice. And now that we know how to get our chemical brass, quest complete, by the way, we also have access to thaumium, which is a good resource for a few things. We need five terra and five Procantio, which is a magical-based aspect, which is on a lot of magic-based things. But now we can get into artifice, which sounds cool to me. Uh, I've learned much, and one of those things is how much more I still have to learn. That's right, there's a whole lot of stuff, right? So we can unlock you now, Artifice. Uh, we just need Goggles of Revealing, which I totally want to make, right? So can I can I add them to the to-do list here? Uh, revealing. So it's going to be four leather, two thermometers, and a couple brass. Oh, hello. Okay, cool. So we want another iron. We've got some iron still, right? Uh, let's get a bunch of gold, because... And then some glass. And that should be cool. So you go in here like that. Okay. Uh, and then some leather. Okay. And then... 
that's pretty cool. And then we'll drop our quartz in there to collect the excess uh, Terra V crystals so that we don't waste, you know, too much of the environment being a mess. Cool. And then you can go like that and get me goggles of revealing, which are a pretty cool thing to wear. Number one, they look super fashionable. Hello, I am Direwolf20 and I'm wearing awesome goggles. Number two, they let you see some things that you wouldn't normally be able to see. For example, uh, one of the things you get to see with goggles of revealing equipped is if you drop um, coal into the cauldron here, you get to see that. Isn't that nifty? Right? And if I drop uh, my quartz slivers now, ta-da! Looking much better. Very much better. So that's nifty, right? That's super cool. Fill you back up with water, and everybody's a winner. So there's some other things that you'll be able to see with those goggles of revealing, but that's like one of the most important ones, is being able to see what's in the cauldron without having to remember in your brain what you dropped in there. Um, so that's neat. Okay. So I'm just breaking into like the early aspects of all the different chapters here, right? So if we want to get into here, you need infusion. We can discover infusion now if we want. That's a big long process, infusion. Yeah. That also shows us how to make enchanted fabric and some uh, some robes that discount costs. We might want to do that at some point. Um, and Gollomancy, study an animated construct. So we basically need to make an iron golem and scan it, from what I remember. Um, so now we've got access to Oromancy, we've got access to Infusion. We need to do basic Infusion. That requires a whole long setup of stuff, right? So just by clicking on this, it unlocks uh, a few things. But the main thing here in Infusion is making an Infusion Altar, which requires a lot of effort. We probably won't be getting to that this episode, right? But Oromancy gets me access to some cool wands, which is neat. Uh, we'll probably want a blank lesser focus, and then once we get that, we're going to want to create a focusing table so we can start creating spells with Thaumcraft. Um, and then Artifice, we can unlock that first chapter. We got Goggles of Revealing is complete. So that also showed me how to make some other mechanisms. Um, and in here, there's like an arcane lamp, which is cool. Um, and that lights up a big area. We kind of already have that with the Feral Flare Lantern, but it's a neat thing to have. There's also the Lamp of Growth, which uh, can speed up growth, and the Lamp of Fertility, which helps animals to, to breed, which is pretty useful. Um, there's the Thaumic Dioptra, which is neat. It's kind of a cool visual representation of the of the aura. What else we got in here? Oh, the Arcane Grappler. That is a kind of a cool one. Uh, we might want to play with that. Arcane Levitators are also neat. Uh, Hungry Chest, Infernal Furnace, V Generators, Redstone Relays, Arcane Ears, Arcane Bellows. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff to play with in Thaumcraft. Um, all around some neat things. So I'm really curious how successful this is going to be, but I kind of want to chop down this great wood tree. I've been waiting until we got into Thawncraft to do it, but... Oh, you didn't chop it down that much, did you, buddy? You had a little bit... Not as good as I was hoping you would be. That's okay. I think it still chops down everything that's above the block that you hit, right? So if I did this... Oh, you're just recharging your thing right now. Is that what's happening? Maybe I ran out of power. That could absolutely have been the thing. I might have ran out of power. He only has a 100,000 RF storage. I bet I ran out of power, and that's why it stopped. Whew. That is some, that is some hurting. Putting the hurt on the dyer. I should have paid attention that time, but did we run out of power? I feel like that's probably what happened. Chopping down this tree ain't easy. I do not want to make it easy on you. Getting there, though. I'm still wearing... Oh, that's right. I should have you equipped. That would probably make things a little bit faster. Okay. How are we feeling now? All right, now we're getting there. Oh, rip. <laughs> what was I saying about needing something that'll help me to, like, fall? <laughs> oh, rip -aroni. Okay, so let's put away, uh, actually, like, let's see, hold on. Um... 
I'll put away my reservoir, put this away. Okay, now I can re-equip my stuff. That works. And then I should be able to put away some things like you guys. Nice. Some of this coal, the quartz slivers, the plates, all this, all these resources that I don't necessarily need in my inventory at the moment, right? Cool. I knew I was gonna die there. Like, like we knew that was gonna happen, right? There was no doubt. Man, just look at this big old mess. I'm gonna have to clean up. Made it. Whew! That was cool. The other thing I wanted to find, real quick, I need to I need to get better food. That's gonna be another task for the dyer. Uh, let's take a quick nap. Okay. Augment successfully installed. Die roll 20 fell from a high place. Yeah, I know. I was there. Uh, yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, there was a silverwood off in this direction. And I remember bookmarking it. Hey, there it is. Nice. I remember these being, like, not super common. Though they might be less rare now. Will I get the whole thing out of that? Oh, yeah, I do. Nice. Barely. Uh, to do... Upgrade those things. Can I scan you guys? That's probably a good idea, right? Research completed plants. And here I would have thought... Now we're getting there. Cool. Now I can probably scan you and scan you. I've learned something. I've learned that Orum is on Silverwood Logs, which is super useful because Orum is a good time. You know what? I found two Silverwoods between the... The, the, the place I was at and the silver wood I was going to. So I think this is going to be sufficient. Nothing new can be learned. Learn something new from the leaves, which are different than the saplings, of course. Cool. I'm quickly learning the uh, algorithm <laughs> for the... Uh, for the dark axe it it mines any wooden leaves above the block that you're mining so like it basically searches up and mines anything above it so if you mine from the top you'll mine one layer at a time if you mine from the bottom you'll get everything um excepting of course i don't know what direction i'm going in uh that, this is the way home yay i'm not that lost hey look another silverwood silverwoods ain't that rare anymore i guess i think that's the moral of the story of this episode silverwoods used to be like super rare but, I mean, I'm seeing them kind of spotting the landscape. I found more silverwood than I have greatwood at this point. No complaints. I'll take it. The reason I wanted this stuff is because it has orum on it, right? Um, so, these guys have orum on them, along with that stuff. But the orum is what's up, right? And for our, our next thing that we want to make is our blank lesser focus. It's 5 orum, 10 procantio, and 20 vitreous. So, vitreous is glass, right? Yes. Right? Um, Procantio. We'll go sell. Okay, that's cool. Procantio. So, we wanted for the focus. Right? Blank, lesser focus. It's 10 Procantio, 5 Orum. Right? So, realistically, we need that. We need four of you for the 20 glass and then we need 10 procantio now luckily there's a thing for this right um there, there's a thing we can look up and be like yo what's got procantio on it uh great wood maybe does great wood have no it doesn't oh man that stinks didn't it used to didn't it used to so find someone with a little bit of procantio on it and we'll be in better shape Animated torch, hoe of growth, that all sounds nice. But some of these things are not as easy to make as others. Uh, I'm looking for something that looks like I have access to it. There's a lot of Batania stuff, which is cool that it has Brocantio on it. Um, you know, unfortunately we haven't done Batania yet, so I don't have any access to any of those things, right? Um, pure daisies have some on it. Some, some of that stuff. Like, where's a good source of Procantio? Eyes of Ender have them. It's not a terrible approach. I'd like it to be a little bit not so crazy, but I, it's a thing. It's a thing. It could probably do in a pinch, right? Can we make two Eyes of Ender? 
Ugh. Uh, you, you, do I have any of these? I do. Nice. And there you go, right? And they also have on them a bunch of other things, so this is going to be a giant old mess. Right? Um... So this is like a really bad thing to use. You shouldn't use this, but I'm gonna do it anyway um, and regret it later, right? So we're gonna say Silverwood Log 1, the gray glass, and then the Eyes of Ender. And boy, is that a lot of junk. Thank you. I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of that going on. Whew, quite the mess, quite the mess. Reservoir, do your job. I think not until you're bubbling can we do your job. Alright, well that cleaned up a lot of the mess. So having those quartz livers is actually really useful. Um, but, you know, we'll get there. Alright, I think that's a good wrapping up point for the episode. So we have the blank lesser focus. Uh, which completes our quest here, right? Complete, boom. Which means we can next get into the stone table and the focal manipulator, which will allow me to make spells from Thalmcraft, which I'm looking forward to. All right, but with that said, it's Star 20's wrapping up point. So for now, Star 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, come back next time. We will um, play with spells from Thalmcraft and probably get a little deeper into Thalmcraft and maybe play with some other stuff. I'd really like to get, like, maybe some dark armor going at some point, too. All right, guys, take it easy.